As we go along with the new, why don't we go back and unfold the past? We are the group one and we'll tell you some verdi about cave paintings and painters. Cave paintings. Cave paintings was said to be the origin of painted art. About 40,000 years ago, painting emerged in prehistory. When the nomadic people made drawings using charcoals or ochre, leaving marks in the cave as they passed for a journey. But what really is a cave painting? Cave painting are a type of parietal art found on the wall or ceilings of caves. The term usually implies prehistoric origin, but cave paintings can also be of recent production. Especially now that some knows what source was used in making cave painting. As you can see, most cave art consists of painting made with either red or black pigment. The red were made with iron oxides, whereas manganese dioxide and charcoal were used for the black. And do you know, 40,800 years old was regarded to be the oldest cave painting ever and that is the Altamira Cave in Spain. The Altamira Cave in Spain was the first ever painted cave to be acknowledged by expert as a Paleolithic, which means it's from the Stone Age. The art in the cave was deemed by expert to be the work of modern humans or also known as the Homo sapiens. Most examples of cave art have been found in France and Spain. But do you know that cave art is generally considered to have a symbolic or religious function? Sometimes both. The exact meaning of the images remain unknown, but some experts think they may have been created within the framework of shamanic beliefs and practices. One such practice involved going into a deep cave for a ceremony during which a shaman would enter a trance state and send his or her soul into the other world to make contact with the spirits and try to obtain their benevolence. Odilon Ridon Odilon Ridon was a French symbolist, painter, printmaker, draughtsman, and pastelist. Earlier in his career, both before and after fighting in the Franco-Prussian War, he worked almost exclusively in charcoal and lithography, works referred to as Neuers. Odilon Redon's fantastic dark sensibility is in full evidence in fear. A rider protecting a child in his arms gallops past desolate plunging ravines. Driven by unseen threat, Redon's dramatic etching may prefer Elf King, a tragic 1782 poem by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. In that work, a father tries to reassure his anxious, dangerously ill son that the hostile elements that beset them are not elves trying to spirit him away. Through the child dies, the poem remains open to interpretation. This painting represents the unconditional love of a father to his son. Indeed, Redon's forbidding landscape strongly suggests the presence of supernatural forces. Only the doomed son could sense. This one was a gift to his friend, French art critic and novelist Joris Carl Huisman, and features a personalized dedication at the bottom of the sheet. Peter Paul Robbins, born June 28, 1577, Sigen Nassau, Spalia, Germany, died May 30, 1640. Antwerp, Spanish Netherlands. His remains are now in Belgium. Robin is a Flemish painter who was known for being the greatest exponent of Baroque paintings, dynamism, vitality, and senseless exuberance. Though his masterpieces include portraits and landscapes, Robin is perhaps best known for his religious and mythological compositions. As the impresario of vast decorative programs, he presided over the most famous painter's studio in Europe. His power of invention were matched by extraordinary energy and versatility. One of his paintings is Massacre of the Innocents. The Massacre of the Innocents is consisting of two paintings which are made by Peter Paul Robbins illustrating the episode of the biblical massacre of the innocents of Bethlehem. In the 17th century, the painting became a part of the Liechtenstein, 
assortment in the Austria capital. Austria, the paintings got the Liechtenstein family sealed and recorded within the assortment till the 19th century, where drawings in the 1850s show they decorated side by side within the Garden Palace in the Austria capital. Rembrandt, or in full Rembrandt, Harmenzen von Rien. He was born on July 15, 1606 in Leiden, Netherlands, and died on October 4, 1669 in Amsterdam. Rembrandt is a Dutch Baroque painter and printmaker, one of the greatest storytellers in the history of art, possessing an exceptional ability to render people in their various moods and dramatic guises. Rembrandt is also known as a painter of light and shade and as an artist who favored an uncompromising realism that would lead some critics to claim that he preferred ugliness to beauty. One of his paintings is The Storm on the Sea of Galilee. It is a painting from 1636. It shows the miracle of Jesus calming the storm on the Sea of Galilee. On March 18, 1990, Rembrandt's creation was stolen. Some thieves masked themselves as police officers and entered the museum and stole the paintings. It's the sole seascape of Rembrandt's and its disappearance was considered as the biggest art robbery in U.S. history and still remain unsolved. The museum still displays the empty frames of the said painting and is still in their original location. Mm -hmm.